how to establish a tax-free retirement. Let's talk about how to set yourself up for retirement. See, let me ask you this question right now. If you knew for certain that the taxes will go higher in the future than they are today, would you pay those taxes today or would you rather pay them later? What would you say? See, the answer seems very common sense, right? But common sense is not always common practice. We think that the answer is easy. It's like, well, obviously, if it's going to be higher later, I'd rather pay my taxes now at a lower rate. But this is not what people do. People rather pay more later. They're doing these things like the 401k for the retirements that is paying more later. So I want to show you how to set yourself up for a tax-free retirement. Now, first of all, most people don't even think about retirement. It's like, well, that's a long time from now. But as you can see right now with the phases of people, of where we're at, like we started with like the baby boomers, right? So we had all the, the, the males come back from war. They had a, a bunch of kids. And from there, all those kids begin to grow. So then the baby food industry blew up, right? And then they started to grow over, older. And then the kid, in, I mean, the toy industry blew up. And they start to get older. This is the fast food industry blows up. They start to get a little bit older. Now they wanted to buy a car. So the car industry blew up. Now they're getting older, having families. And then the real estate industry blew up. And right now, so many of those baby boomers are retiring. And we can see how there's so many people who are, who are older now, getting at the, old, the end of their lives. And they don't have enough income to live. They didn't set themselves up for retirement properly. And it's hard to see. This is why you'll see a lot of older people who don't have enough income, so they have to go and work somewhere to have supplemental income. They're going to Walmart, they're doing you know, Uber Eats, Postmates. Not that there's anything wrong with those things, but these are people who live their life and now have to go and supplement their income at their age. They can't function the same and they can't even enjoy their, their life at the end because now they have to be worried about financial issues. Why does this happen? Lack of planning. Lack of planning. How much money will you need to retire? See, most people can't answer this question. Or, or even this, like, what age? How, how old do you want to be when you retire? Think about that. Do you have an age? 50? 60? 65? Most of the time when I ask people that, they're like, huh, I don't know. Well, I'm thinking, because everybody says 65. So they're like, 65? No, I want to do it early. So I'm going to say 60 or 55. And it sounds good and they're saying like, yeah, yeah, like it sounds good, but are you really thinking about it? Like, do you really think, okay, if, if you want to say, say 65, let's say you want to retire at 65, do you know how much money you will need to retire and have saved in an account at that age to be able to retire comfortably? Do you know? Because most people have no idea. They don't know how much they need to have in an account at this age for me to retire the rest of my life. And not only that, let's say, you know, okay, I want to be 65 and I need to have a million dollars, which these days a million dollars doesn't go so far anymore. But let's just say for numbers sake, okay? So I want to be 65 years old so when I retired and in order for me to retire comfortably, I need to have a million dollars in my account and that's going to help me to live the rest of my life comfortably where I can retire. Now, if that happens, if that's true, how much, here's the next question, how much money do you need to save every month to be able to accumulate and build something that gets up to a million dollars? Because if you just merely saved five, 10% of your paycheck and just put it into a regular account, you're not going to be able to accumulate a million dollars in the savings account. It has to have some kind of interest rate that's working for you, right? So let's say this, or, or can you answer this? At 5% interest rate, how much would you be able to have to save if you started today to be able to save a million dollars by the age 65? Most people don't know. So I'm going to give you three steps right here to help you to do it for yourself. And most people don't plan to fail. You've heard this, right? Most people don't plan to fail, but they fail to plan. And you don't want to get to the end of your life where you fail to plan and you find yourself not being able to retire. You find yourself needing your family, other people to take care of you, not just financially, but physically, all these different areas. Now you're a burden on people because you didn't set yourself up to be able to retire. So let's not fail financially. Let's get a plan. 
So first you need to decide on the amount and figure out the numbers of how much money you need to put, how many years, and how much the interest rate needs to be in the account for me to accumulate that money. So here, here's an example for you, okay? So a 35-year-old wanted to save $1.5 million by the age of 65, okay? So how much would you need to be able to save at, at a certain different accounts to be able to grow to that much money? So when it comes to a 3% account that gives you 3% interest rate, you know how much you need to do? $2,567.64. You need to be saving that much money monthly in a 3%. That's, that's a lot of money, right? Like we need to think about this. We need to put it in a percentage that's higher so we can actually accumulate this much. How about if we put money into a, an account that gives you 5%? Now we're talking about $1,794.85. How about a percentage of 7%? $1,222. You see, in the accounts that we're able to get access to, they give you more than 7%. They can go from anywhere from 8 to 12%. So now we cut down how much we need to be saving to be able to get to this 1.5 million by the age of 65. The higher the account, the faster it's going to accumulate. Yes, the interest rate is going to work on your for your favor. So the accounts that we give, I'm telling you, that an average from 8 to 12%. So it'll be less than this, but we need to get some numbers. You need to get realistic. You need to tell yourself the truth. Even if it hurts, even if it's like, oh my goodness, I have to save this much in this account to be able to set my, yeah, you do. In order to beat tax and inflation, in order to set yourself up. So whether it's 1.5 million, maybe you don't need that much. Maybe you need a million, maybe you need less. Maybe you have some other things going on. Either way, you need to have clear targets. You need to plan, right? Now, there is the power of compound interest that's going to kick in right here. So first, set the goal, pick that number, and this is where you need to be consistent. So when you're consistent, you start to create this compound interest. See, there's something called the rule of 72. You get the interest rate and you divide it into 72. It's like a formula to see how long is it going to take for my money to double. How long? If I have my money in this account... How long, how many years is it going to take for this money to double just by leaving it there? Not by working harder, more time. How can I get this money to work for me and keep doubling? The rule of 72. So the rule of 72 says take the percentage of the account, divide it into 72, and you'll get how many years it's going to take. So for an example, if the account gives you 1%, how many times is 1 going to 72? 72 times, right? So if I have my money in an account that gives me 1% is going to take 72 years for that money to double. So if I'm 29 years old, I put $10,000. It's not going to be until I'm 101 years old until that 10,000 turns to 20,000. And this is in an account at 1%. And your bank account doesn't even give you 1%. So don't put your hard-earned money in the bank account. You need to put it into these type of accounts where it can grow more, right? So this is where the compound interest kicks in when you have an account that's giving you 8 to 12%. The years that it takes to double shrinks, and now the doubling goes faster, which is the power of compound interest. There is this example on that I heard, I think it was on Netflix, or, or, um, or maybe even TikTok, talking about money and compound interest. And they did this, this equation that is crazy. They ask people a question, and let me ask you this right now. And this shows you the power of compound interest. Would you rather me give you $1 million or a penny doubled every day for one month, for 30 days. What, which one would you rather pick? And just pick quickly. Most would quickly say, give me the $1 million, right? Like, boom, right here, $1 million. But if you take the one penny doubled for 30 days, it's actually going to produce so much more, almost 11 times more. I'm talking about $10 million. This is a lot more. And look at, think about this. If it's like at 10 million, almost 11 million, if it's 31 days in the month, that doubles. So 10 million would turn into 20 million. You guys see that? That's the power of compound interest. So would you take a million dollars or a penny doubled for 30 days? Take the penny doubled. That's the power of compound interest. So number one, plan. Make, get a number. Number two, okay, we're talking about how to create financial future for yourself, how to create tax-free retirement. 
So number one, have a plan. Know your numbers. Know when you want to retire. Know how much you need to save in a certain account, how many years, so you know how you can start to save that to set yourself up for your future. Number two, pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. See, most people have more month than they do money. What? Say that again, Richard. Most people have more month than they do money, right? They don't have enough money to cover their whole month. Their month is like, they ran out of money and they still have another week left. It's like, ah, how do I do this? So people are stuck financially, not knowing how to get out. The answer is simple, pay yourself first. So start saving a percentage right off the top. This is like you setting that goal, that non-negotiable to be consistent of like, okay, this is my, my, my important funding that I'm going to put here. So that way I can set myself up for the tax-free retirement. Number three, don't procrastinate. Don't wait. Um, there is, when you start doing the math, the person who starts earlier and activates that compound interest, man, there's so much more leverage, so much more benefit if you start now, start today. Don't procrastinate. Life is expensive. And saving becomes this dream, right? Like, yet yeah, people put it off. They put it off. And saving and investing are like this, some mystical, like someday, right? Someday I'm going to save. Someday I'm going to invest. Yet someday never comes. So let's not do a someday thing. Life demands have a way of increasing faster than our income. Think about that. The demands of life increasing. There's all kinds of responsibilities and things that we have. And a lot of times it's increasing faster than the income that we're bringing in. So this is why we got to be serious in not procrastinating and really starting now. So what were those three things? This is simple things that you need to start doing to set yourself up for a tax-free retirement. Number one, set a goal. You need to know your numbers. How old do you want to be when you want to retire? Okay, this is the age. How much do you need to have saved? Now do the math. How many years do I have from now to then? What kind of account do I need to put it in? At a how much every month consistently so I can accumulate compound interest to get to my goal? So set a goal, right? Number two, pay yourself first. So on, before everything else gets paid, make sure you pay yourself first. Put it into this account where you can start to activate the compound interest. And number three, do it now. Do it today. Don't procrastinate. Get it done. This is for your family. This is for your future. Don't get caught. Don't think, oh, someday or, oh, I'm still young. No, leverage it now. If you want that tax-free retirement plan, leverage it now. Start putting your money into an account, especially when it comes to life insurance policies. Index universal life insurance policies. These are the ones where you can put in. It's a life insurance product. So it has death benefit, but there's a savings account attached to it that, that you can pull money out later, a loan off of yourself where you don't get taxed. This is how the rich get richer and the wealthier get wealthier using these types of products. But so many people are ignorant about it. So if you want to learn more about these products so you can create yourself a tax-free retirement for you and your family, make sure you message me for a free consultation, 15 minutes, that's all I need, anywhere in the United States, and I can make sure I help you. I'm Richard Martinez. I appreciate you guys. If there's any other topics that you guys want to learn when it comes to finances, you know, your, your taxes, you know, different things to help your family in your future, please message me. And we can create something for you. Comment, like, share. Bless you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.